Good morning, everybody. It is Thanksgiving. We are up cooking at 840. I slept in longer than I wanted to, but we don't have any place to go today, so it doesn't matter. Um, our bathroom down here keeps smelling like sewer to me. And I woke up this morning and the door was open and it smelled really bad today. So I'm just, pr I almost want to tell the kids don't use the toilet because I'm afraid that like something's going to happen and it's going to come back up. Um, we have a meeting with our builder and that is like my number one concern. Like I don't have a ton of concerns around here. That one is scary <laughs> because thinking of the damage it can cost and just the havoc it can cost. But we paid for like a um, bigger toilet. It was an upgrade here. And I remember Jeff and I came one night and the wax seal was all messed up. Like they had put a regular toilet down and then realized, oh crap, they have the elongated toilet. So I'm wondering if it just needs to be like resealed and everything. And Jeff's like, oh, I can do it. I'm like, but we're not. Like, I know that a seal is I think like $5, but it's just a matter of like, they're going to fix it. Like, you know, I I'm not picky penny, but like that's something that I feel is kind of important. Um, but anyways, Jeff is helping me make stuffing. My best friend told me about this stuffing. Now she doesn't put the celery and onion in it. She just puts a lot of, she puts like garlic salt and powder, onion salt and powder, and then some sort of celery powder. Since I don't have that, I just have these two. I'm going to spice it up with this. And then this is the stuffing. So you buy one of the cubes and one of this. And now my kids are creatures of habit. I mean, hell, Jeff is too. Lord. Yeah, you cut cut right there. Okay. And then it'll peel all off. You never cut an onion before? No, I've never. You always do it. <coughs> you need to be available. I am available. Anyways, um, so I'll probably make this stovetop stuffing as well. Um, just for the kids to have because I think it's gonna take a lot to stuff in the turkey because Jeff wanted a 20 pound turkey again this year, which I think is ridiculous. Hopefully everybody eats it. I bought pumpkin pie stuff, but I ended up making a pumpkin pie, or I bought one from Costco. So I'll save this and we'll probably make a pumpkin pie for Christmas, because we do like pumpkin pie. Um, and then I have my pans, yeah, and I have an extra now. pan. Yeah. Wash it no? <laughs> Clearly you haven't had my palm oil with potatoes. Um, but yeah, so the turkey's about to go in the oven. The turkey should be in the oven by nine, I think. Also, I found these clowns this morning and um, I believe there's a sign next to Ellie's bed that hopefully she will find but the house is in good shape I, just, I wanted to mop but that didn't happen all right both stuffings were made so that's the pepperidge farm and that's stove top and then the pepperidge farm is in the turkey the turkey is in the oven I'm getting ready to make mashed potatoes my friend gave me the recipe for this and you cook them in chicken broth and then you put all kinds of stuff in it and then you put it in a crock pot so you don't have to worry about them so Jess gonna get ready to start peeling the potatoes. The corn is gonna go in a little crock pot. Um, the gravy will go in a little crock pot. And then I think all I have is the rolls, but I can't find the rolls. So I'm trying to find those. Um, but I think we have about four and a half hours left. Let's see what? I want to film. I want Okay, so I'm gonna show you what Al said. It took me like 400 hours to find them, but then Aubrey played hot and cold. Um, <coughs> this is where they hid. The one on the, the one right here is Jack. Say hi, Jack. Hi. That was just me. And then this is Ginger with the jersey. Ginger, say hi. Okay. That's Jeff got the corn and the green beans in. Um, mashed potatoes are in. Gravy is here, warming up. I oh, know I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, so let's talk about how the real MVP of any holiday is a crock pot. But so I'm going to put all this stuff away. I just got done making deviled eggs, and then I'm going to put some cheese on there. Um, turkey is going good. So literally, that's the last thing I have to cook. I put out the fruit, deviled eggs, the few little pepperonis that we had. And Jeff left those up because we didn't have the bags. And he has been my sidekick all day long. If you ever feel lonely on Thanksgiving, like you're just sitting in the kitchen by yourself, get a dog. They won't leave you. I'm going to do those dishes real quick. Um, I'm going to put this stuff away. We're good. But don't put it down. I'm going to put the rest of that on there. I think it's, I think it's soupy enough. Well, maybe not. It's like soaked in. <laughs> 
Here's one. That's hot dog. That looks like apple cider. Can I drink it? This is where we're at. Corn, green beans, two types of stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, rolls, and Jeff is working on the turkey right now. And it actually looks like it came out pretty good. And we even got some, but a little bowl of everything. He's got green beans, corn, stuffing, mashed potatoes, his food, some of his treats, and then it's all soaked in um, like the juices that were at the bottom of that. All right, they all have a nice full plate of food. Oh, I got the bad soda. Everybody's ready, and it is 3.01. I think it's the latest we've ever had Thanksgiving. Latest? Mm-hmm. That will happen tonight. On the count of three, say happy Thanksgiving. One, two, three. Happy Thanksgiving. The table is all clean. The kitchen, all the leftovers are there, kind of cooling before we put them in. Everything is cleaned up. The kids are playing this stupid game among us that they're all Mom, playing. What? Yeah, Jack Man down. Man down. I'll get the food out. It is about seven o'clock and I just woke up. Um, I'm Thanksgiving now apparently. I was really tired. I slept for a long time. Um, I am putting out the desserts. I got you. Which is good that now, no I don't need both of them. Um, can I just pull up two please? <laughs> putting both the des or all the desserts out. We have brownies, Pumpkin pie and chocolate cream pie. We we're gonna make normal brownies too, but we forgot. Yeah, I figured tomorrow no, I'll make some bad. regular brownies and some regular cookies. This is, well, this is the bad one. This is the one. It doesn't work? I don't think so. What are you guys doing to them? It's the second one that's done that. Um, yeah, it was honestly, I know it was a weird Thanksgiving. But I think it was probably, I know it was the best one I've ever had cooking wise. Yeah, it was really good. The turkey was good. And, um, and then like the timing of it was really good. And then the fact that like I used all those items, I just, I wasn't stressed out at all. Um, it was really nice being here with family and not having like to run anywhere or go anywhere or like work on other people's schedules. Um, it was really, really good. We all talked. I think we might try to do Disney next year for Thanksgiving. Um, we'll see, but it was just a really good year. It was a good year for us. Um, I know that 2020 sucked for a lot of people. Use a butter knife to cut that. Don't use that to the knife because it'll break the pan. 2020 sucked for a lot of people. However, you know, me, me being home from March until August was really good. I felt like it really taught us the important things in life and what to cherish and what to value. And we got a lot of time with each other. I know the kids were over it. Yeah, that's fine. I know the kids were over it, um, but I felt blessed that I wasn't stressed out, you know, with them. Um, it taught me a lot about my travel business. I worked really, Casey, can you turn that off or go somewhere in another room? Um, you know, in 2019, I worked my butt off for my travel business. And honestly, I, you know, a lot of that work went away, um, with COVID, but it's still, yeah. Um, I think I was getting burnt out from my job because I was working hard. I was working myself too hard and not working smart and having this time off gave me tons of time to train, to miss it, to put better things in place for a better business. Um, and I'm just, it's slowly coming back now and I'm just so happy. Um, it made me realize that I really just wanna focus on Disney Universal and cruises. It's 
what I like doing. Disney is what I know, like the back of my hand. Um, and it's given me joy to plan people's vacations and stuff like that. I just, I, I love it. Um, we obviously bought a house this year and I don't know what snapped in our fingers. We were never poor. We were, well, when we first got together, we were. <laughs> but, you know, we never struggled for much or anything like that. But I don't know what snapped this year, but we have been in the best. Do you like four and then cut those in half? Like four big pieces and then cut four. Four and then, yeah, cut them in half. Um, I don't know what happened this year financially, but we are in the best place we have financially ever been. We have more savings than we ever had. All of our needs are met and more. Um, we have just been blessed this year. One, we, we've been blessed financially. We're making more money again year after year. Um, but we're just doing really, really well financially. And we have changed some things and tweaked some things. And um, I just, I'm very proud of us in that aspect. Um, and then we bought the house and everything like that. And there was sadness, you know. Um, my uncle got diagnosed with cancer. Um, my other uncle got diagnosed with cancer. And Jeff's dad, of course, she got diagnosed with cancer and died. However, I almost feel like that's a blessing. I feel like he is happier now that he can be with his wife. I think once his wife died, he struggled. He really, really struggled. Um, I'm horribly sad for my husband that he's gone. But I think for him, he's probably in a better place. Um, my kids are all doing pretty well. I mean, I still struggle a little bit with Trevor, but I think, you know, we're getting there with him. But the kids, with everything that's going on with them and everything that's been thrown at them, they're doing really, really well. So, we have had a great... Just keep cutting like you did, like cut in half and then and just till you get usable pieces. The kids are growing up. The kids are getting older. They're getting more fun. It's a new type of scary, you know, driving with Trevor is terrifying. And he's not a bad driver. He's actually a pretty decent driver, but it's just, you know, I have to get over myself. Um, but you know, they're getting older. Aubrey's going into high school next year and she's essentially going to be a sophomore when she enters. Um, Casey's gonna start middle school next year and like, he's gonna have to go to school without me and like be put on his own and that makes me so nervous but I think this is something not that he needs because he is perfectly fine and content and he can do life without me but it's something that I need um but yeah it was I'm thankful for this year we had a really good year and we are probably in the best place we have ever been in life I'm so thankful that we bought our house that everything is going well um, and I'm very excited to see what 2021 brings, um, between our jobs, between the house, between the kids, um, we're going to go back to Disney, um, um, but yeah, so I'm going to serve up these desserts because I would just put them all up and, um, that'll be it for today's vlog.